Okay, hi there, and welcome to a short video where we'll take a few minutes to explain the J-curve effect. So what is the J-curve? Well, the J-curve is a possible relationship between the trade balance and the change in the exchange rate. The key to this is to understand that the impact of a currency depreciation, a fall in the currency, on the trade balance or the trade deficit depends on the price elasticity of demand for both exports and imports. And the J-curve concept says that the country's trade deficit can actually get worse following a currency depreciation, but then perhaps improve in the medium term if the Marshall Lerner condition holds. So here is the J-curve diagram and the analysis that goes with it. On the y-axis here we have the current account surplus or deficit and on the x-axis the time period following a currency depreciation. So the key point here is that in the short term depreciation may not necessarily improve the current account of the balance of payments. Initially after a depreciation for example the trade the current account deficit may worsen from A to point B. Now, this is due to the low price elasticity of demand for imports and exports in the short term. So initially, the quantity of imports of goods and services bought will remain possibly the same because of contracts for imports. They've been signed and they'll be met. So if you have a low price elasticity of demand for imports, you're going to spend more on your imports because a currency depreciation increases the price of those goods and services. Export demand may be inelastic in response to the exchange rate change. Uh, it may take time for businesses to sell more goods and services overseas, take time for foreign consumers, for example, to notice that the country's exports have become relatively cheaper. So you're spending more on your imports and earnings from exports may be insufficient to compensate for that. Hence, the balance of trade or the current account balance in this situation may worsen and this is known as the J-curve effect. Now, over time, we go initially from A to B, but hopefully over time we move from point B to point C. The current account balance improves, providing that the price elasticity of demand for imports and exports together are greater than one, greater than unity, then the current account will improve over time. This is known as the Marshall Lerner condition. And you can show in your diagram that if the Marshall Lerner condition holds, if eventually demand for exports rises significantly and perhaps we cut back our spending on imports quite a bit, eventually the current account balance will improve if the sum of the elasticity of demand for exports and imports is greater than one. So above the dotted line here is a net improvement in the trade balance. Please don't draw the J-curve uh, in this way. Uh, it's unlikely, highly unlikely, that a depreciation of the currency on its own is going to cause you to move from a big current account deficit to a surplus. Because oftentimes the deficit itself has underlying supply-side causes that aren't really affected very much by a change in the exchange rate. So I've mentioned in this video the Marshall Learner Condition. Let's spend a minute or two on this. The Marshall Learner condition is a great condition to state in an economics exam. And it says that a depreciation or a devaluation of the exchange rate will lead to a net improvement in the trade balance, provided that the sum, the added addition of the price elasticity of demand for exports and the price elasticity of demand for imports is greater than one. That's the Marshall Learner condition. Now let's take a little look at uh, some examples of what might happen here if we look at some data. This would be perhaps a, a multiple choice question in the exam. The Marshall Learner Condition shows the conditions under which a change in the exchange rate leads to an improvement or in some cases a worsening of a country's trade balance. Here's situation one for country A with low price elasticity of demand for both exports and imports. The sum is less than one. Will a fall in the currency improve the, improve the trade balance? No, it's less than one. The trade balance will worsen. Country B, uh, much higher price elasticity demand for exports. Exports seem to be price sensitive. And again, a higher coefficient for imports. 
less than 1, but if you add the two together, you get plus 1.9, and in terms of the sum, it's greater than 1. Yes, a fall in the currency will eventually, after the time lags, improve the trade balance. Now, country C here, uh, very low uh, price elasticity demand for imports. The sum of the two elasticities is 1. In theory, in this situation, a fall in the country's exchange rate would leave the trade balance unchanged. There we go. Hopefully that was a useful little quick resume and overview of the J-curve effect.